Alright, hello, and welcome to something I've said I was going to do for a while. Total War Warhammer 2. Um. Alright, that hasn't gone well. I can't see nothing now. But hopefully people can still see what was. And it hasn't crashed. Um, I decided to do Clan Angram. Because head is itchy. Because I haven't played dwarves in a very long time. And I like Belagar because he's a real big tanky boy. And it gives an interesting start with how with the fifty percent income makes it a bit more difficult compared to others. So it should be interesting. <clears throat> I'm not sure how long the episodes are going to be. Uh, but I think I'll try and go for 30 minutes each. Maybe. At least that's what I'll try for. And the reason I didn't start at the main screen is because, for some reason, the very first loading screen is always the fucking longest. It always is. Like, it'll load nice and quick up to halfway, and then it gets to halfway, and it's like, nope. And slows down to a crawl. It's always a pain in the ass. But after that, it's generally fine. Which is really annoying. So that's why I didn't start at the character selection screen, because I didn't want to just deal with the problems that come after. So it's probably better to just start from this screen, but even then it's taking quite a while still. Oh yeah. Um. At this time, I'm probably going to do Total War, um, Tom Clancy's End War for Skirmish tomorrow. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'll probably do some more Dawn of War either tonight or on Thursday. Start the Order side of Winter Assault. And then once that's done... I got the super long and arduous process of doing Dark Crusade. And I endeavor to do every race campaign for Dark Crusade. Yeah. Every one of them. I will attempt to do anyway. I will probably give them each their own playlist. Instead of just having one super long playlist. Probably best to give them each their own. Because I've kind of split the two between destruction and order. Well, it's disorder and order, but destruction sounds better. So that's what I went with. So I'll have a new playlist and start from episode one. Is adrift, my lord Belagar, yet hope remains. The Dwarf Lords of Karak Izor have sponsored your quest to take your ancestral home. A chance yet lingers. The journey will be long and perilous. There is much ground between here and your throne, and enemies are everywhere. To the north, the treacherous and duplicitous Skarsnik, self-proclaimed warlord of Karak Eight Peaks, moves to usurp your birthright once more. Time is of the essence. Yet in the east, the Badlands team with more greenskins, and even the border princes may wish to exploit your plight. You must not relent. Well, I'm definitely going to go north first and fuck up a goblin. Through your rage and determination, the fortress of Karak Eight Peaks shall be returned to dwarf rule once again. With you, Velagar Ironhammer. As its rightful king. Uh, 
Come on, come on, there we go. So that's all the unique stuff there. Uh, let's see, where's the engineer? Always want him in the group first. The runes are ready. Okay, that's nope, that's the rune boy. Uh, you're the engineer. Damn, and you're the one with steel tech. But you're very actually what does he what stats does he come with first? Ah, good. All the ranged buffing. Excellent. An artillery train to speed us up. Uh, technology. Let's see. Where the hell are we going first? I think income should be the biggest thing to start with. Recruitment costs. Buffs for the warriors. Yeah, let's get that income started first. The throng is busted. Okay, what do we actually have? Miners are bullshit. I never like miners. So, fuck off. Lord of the uh, I got 600, so I can probably get... Let's just get another two boys, and that's all I'll probably be able to deal with for the moment. Income as it is. Growth, recruitment for miners, but everything else is useful. Uh, I'll probably keep this building for now, but I'll definitely have one of the secondary locations be it, because it goes up to level 3. And, let's face it, the other, this more important stuff can be here. Uh, you know what? You can go in there as well because I'll definitely have you bump army replenishment. Uh, let's have you go north for now. And then I'll have you go south because I want the information. Actually, no, no. Go this way. Let's see if we can get a... Try and get something with these elves. You stand before the king in the woods. Give me a non-aggression pact. Thank you. Man, they start at rank 20th. Holy fuck. Uh, I have to very much decide if I want to go to war with these dwarves and secure their territories. I'm not entirely certain on that. Greetings, stranger. Apparently we already have not aggression pack with these boys. Maybe I'll try and get trade later. Alright. Uh, those guys are going to be annoying, but I want to make sure, I, I kind of want to see this guy die so I can fully secure that area without having to fight the other dwarves. These guys kind of like me. And apparently I have a non-aggression pact with them and a trade, nope, I don't have a trade agreement with them. Hmm. Fuck. That means I can't fight them. So I can't take their shit and make it mine. That sucks. Really wish I could take their shit. Alright, well, he just went and got himself killed. Stupid bastard. An oath fulfilled. Oh, right. That's okay. I thought I thought somehow I finished that for some unknown reason. Alright. You come down this way. Actually, I might just have the one guy running around doing scouting for me for now. Uh, I really want you to go scout that way. Yeah. So retake that and this bar is just going to constantly fill up as a result of that fucking grudge. Yeah. That's going to get annoying. So I'll have to try and 
get myself up there to a full stack and then march when possible. Because yeah, I'll turn this building here into the fur into an actual recruitment building. And you know what? Because this is the first fight, let's just give this episode some action and get the fuck in there and fuck shit up. You know? Because this is the first episode. And there's gotta be at least something. Gotta be at least something. Karak. Boof. Hoof. Da. Boof. Da. I don't know. Ah, da, da. <sighs> uh, excuse me. Really wish I had more range units right now, but I can only get so much with this stupid 50% unit cap I can't go to war with the border princes that's just a bad idea at the moment uh, also since it's still technically early in the episode if anyone wants a unit named after them post yourself in the chat or oh, in the not the chat wrong kind of context there um, in the comments and I will definitely Put you down for a name. Here we go. Can you go there? Oh, what the? Hold on. What the shit has gone on with this map? Uh. Uh. This happened to me once before where, where I had a dark elf army that started beneath the ground. Uh. Um. Let's let's start up here. Let's just have the boys start over here, yeah. Yeah, I'll just put those guys in group three as well. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know what's going on there, but I, I haven't seen that kind of break in a while. Oh, my heroes aren't as fast as the other boys. Okay, so you have the rune buffs, which are just pure armor. You're just combat, and you got a cool-ass buff. Okay, does that have effective range and self and allies? Oh, fuck. Self and allies. Whoops. That was a wasted rune power. Yeah, entrenchment. Duration. Well, almost a minute cooldown. Oh, the orcs are marching on me. Okay, better get into position, boys. Everyone get into position a little quicker. Because I want you guys ready to shoot. He won't be able to, but it'll be fine. Uh, you guys should be in firing range, right? Yeah, start firing! Oh, focus on those stupid boars and wolves, or whatever they are. They're going under. You get over there. You can just start shooting those for now. You get over there and support. Deal with their rangers. Now the guy can just hold the line, line for now. Alright, you get in there. You try and deal with that. Oh, 
Alright, well, it's not as useful as I was hoping, but alright. But if we can get rid of their rangers, that'll be useful. Okay, everyone should be fine. Alright, get over here. I want you to shoot into these boys. Get a good firing angle on these guys. Oh, give it to those guys. I'm a pissing missile damage. But yeah, shoot those boys with your gun. Come on, shoot them! Shoot them! Oh, come on, you should be able to shoot them. Fine, shoot those guys. Ah, uh, I couldn't see him because of this stupid terrain! Stupid terrain! Get over there and help them. Go help those guys while you're free. Who else is free? Help them. Wait, where are my hammers? Oh, they're over here. Alright, you're doing pretty good. I'll send him some backup if I can. How about, like, right now? Or not! Stupid pricks. So annoying. Jeez, the balance of power in that fucking loading s in the auto resolve was highly inaccurate. You guys go there. You there. You there. Kill the off fighters. Come together, lads. We fire on the fall. Get rid of those damn archers. Damn it, Emma, you just both get rid of these stupid riders. They just keep coming. Fuck them up. All right, reform a line over here. Alright, get the archers. Oh, come on! How do these guys keep coming back? You fucking pricks! Alright, who's not in action? You're not for some reason. And Balagar can get... Go get their fucking leader, Balagar. Go get him. Finally! That should not have been as hard as it was, but I think those stupid riders, I should have just had the archers hard focus. Until they were all gone. That was a mistake, I think. But, like, that auto resolve was certainly bullshit for some reason. Certainly bullshit for some reason. But I need more archers to help deal with that kind of stuff. Really want those thunderers, but those will take a while to get. Boy, they'll take a while. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll turn the starting territory into a recruitment point. Everywhere else will be money for the moment. Until I can get deeper in and possibly acquire another recruitment point. Well, at least an area that's good for recruitment anyway.
but that'll take time to get to. Ma'am, all these wolves did was mostly damage on my rangers. They almost had... No, they did have just over double my units, too. But though I think a lot of uh, a lot of the other ones were goblins. The hammers at least did good work. Good work. Oh, the rune boy did quite a bit of work, too. Look at that, 48 kills. Yeah, the engineer didn't do much. <laughs> But then he had to keep getting into firing lines. So annoying. Come on, finish it with the loading. I wonder if recording it is slowing it down as well. It's a possibility. That I can't overlook. Pain in the ass if that's what it is. What it is. Close victory, my ass. I didn't take that many losses in comparison. I mean, my boys are good to go another round, for fuck's sake. Why is it always the last little bit that takes the longest? So annoying. So very annoying. Always the last little bit. I think Rend? No. Yes, Rend was the actual unit stack defending the town and... Gugrunt Mork's Chosen. No, oh, I think it's Gugrunt Mork's Chosen. Yes, that's that's the way. That would be the way. Uh, why is it always doing this to me anyway? Stupid tiniest little bit of loading that remains. Always the last little bit. Always that last little infuriating bit that just doesn't want to work. It's like a big fuck you. To everything and everyone. Just that last little bit of loading. <sighs> Hopefully that glitch doesn't happen again. Because that would really suck. To have that happen again. Because that was real annoying. Uh, I should check to see how far away and how long it'll take to get artillery in the main building. Yeah, because I need artillery. Needs it for my overall combat styles. Just force the enemy to come to me under a barrage of artillery and weapons fire. Thank you. This place is now my own. Starts at level one, that's fine. Minus recharge. I really wish I could get that, but it'll do. Don't really need the income at this very moment. Okay, let's get route marcher. We'll hang out here for a turn and Get the recruitment. Oh, the replenishment. Yeah, I pretty much need to wait for this guy to die, if he dies. And if he doesn't die, I'll just take his shit. Because I want it. Plain and simple. I want it.
Alright, settlement building income is next. Uh, we're mostly finding green skins, so why not? You. Ooh, earth gold per turn would be nice. Let's get some of that early on. Ancestral Grudge, right, this is the combat guy. Arg. Yeah, let's increase the missile damage for the entire crew. The throng is mustard. Alright, let's pull you back down here to support the army. Because all I needed was vision on this. For some reason they have two armies. Not entirely sure why. Okay, so... I definitely should put the that build. Oh, I could get artillery immediately. Oh, how nice! How nice! We'll need that building later so I can get iron breakers. Them's the best boys. Uh, here I could get rangers straight away if I do that. Mm. Got the old runesmith here to produce oath gold. Defensive building and income and replenishment. Fuck, that's that would be nice. Income. But right now I need this to be combat oriented, so let's get that. I need that means I'll have another five slots for five other things. Oh boy, where to put those? Okay, so that's definitely one. Always get defense. Um one that leaves four ah uh, four no, I don't really feel like getting that nah but one yeah I think I need engineering for all the cool shit so that's two that means I have three slots left. Do I get three of these? I mean, having the public order and the income, those will be fucking good. So that leaves one. Do I get this? Faction-wide trade, tradable resources, income from all buildings. You know what, I'll probably try doing trade with the Empire, so having this would be very useful. But that's faction-wide stuff really so maybe do I get this as well that ups recruitment a little bit and runesmiths would be nice oh it allows the recruitment of iron breakers and hammerers oh no yeah I gotta get runeforge all right so one two three four and five okay we have a path going forward for buildings. Lord of the Jeez, what are you doing here, stealthy person? Exuding whatever you're exuding? Alright, I'll wait one more turn and then hit the last location. Oh, I probably should have tried making a thing with the border princes over here. Oh, the order of whatever they are over here. Right, I think this will be the last turn and then that'll be the end of this episode. What would your high king have of me? Oh, you drive a high bug and you bastard, but fine. We'll get trade later and I'll make that money back Billy, easy. Yeah. Alright, let's start the quick march down here. Yeah, three oath gold per turn. Now, what does this stuff actually require? Oath gold and materials. Oh, I can recycle stuff. That's cool. But yeah, I definitely need all these things to make the good stuff and a shit ton of oath gold. How do I get oath gold? 
Earthguard can be obtained from certain buildings, character skills, recycling magic items, or completing grudges and quests. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Gotta wait, gotta wait. Yeah, I think we'll start the next episode with a battle. Well, yeah, I'll take control of the next battle again. Maybe I should go fight the pirates of Sartosa. Get their fucking building. Turn that into a real capital for all things needed. Both military and income. I think that'll be quite useful. Maybe to go to... Oh, uh, they don't have the best unpleasant climate. Hmm. Revenge incarnate. Just gonna save it just in case. Alright, I hope people enjoyed this episode. Later.